Opponents of Victoria's historic assisted dying laws have vowed to campaign hard against the Andrews government at the next election. After passing the Legislative Council, the lower house looks set to rubber stamp the bill, making the state the first in Australia to pass right-to-die legislation. After a series of all-night sittings and a marathon debate, Victorian Health Minister Jill Hennessy hit the morning radio waves to hail a historic vote in the state's upper house. It's been two and a half years in the making and, you know, there were people sitting in the parliament with terminal illnesses for whom this can't come soon enough. The Andrews government says its assisted dying laws will help to ease the suffering of those experiencing intolerable pain. The scheme is due to begin in 18 months and will give the terminally ill with less than six months to live the right to ask to end their own lives. For neurodegenerative cases like motor neurone disease, that assisted dying permission time frame will be extended out to a year. And the great challenge, of course, with things like MND is that people lose capacity and capability uh, often about 12 months from death. And so there is an exception where there's been three doctors assessed. According to health law and ethics expert Carolyn Johnston, the bill does contain adequate checks and balances to guarantee the terminally ill make informed choices before being given lethal medication to take. The patient needs to ensure that they've made a written statement, that they're not coerced, and then make a final request with a, a 10 day period in between. She says the legislation is internationally significant. It sends a message about patient choice around the way people want to think about their end of life. Um, and yeah, I think it's a very brave move. A move opponents warn could have ramifications for the Andrews government at the ballot box. We won't let it go. We'll be like a terrier dog. I feel ashamed living in a country like this, it's supposed to be the lucky country. And this is one of the things that has been done by legislators. The amended bill looks set to get a final tick of approval by the Victorian Lower House when it sits next week. Gareth Borum, SBS World News.